Infections in Kiambu County has been on the rise, with the county now being ranked at the second position after Nairobi in terms of infections. This has the number of COVID-19 cases in the country rose to 23,202 cases after 605 more people tested positive for the virus in the last 24 hours. Ever since cessation of movement into and out of Nairobi Metropolitan was lifted on the 6th of July, Kiambu County has continued to record a high number of COVID-19 infections, the county now being ranked as the second county in number of infections after Nairobi County. Is it that the county is experiencing a spillover of infections from Nairobi County due to its proximity to the capital city? Or is it due to the carelessness of Kiambu residents in following the COVID-19 set guidelines? Just today, Kiambu County recorded a total of 25 cases. This is as Kiambu Governor James Nyoro disputes concerns that the county is at a high risk day by day with the rising number of infections. According to Nyoro, a huge number of patients in the county have recovered, with more continuing to respond positively to treatment. <laughs> Nyoro further says most of the cases reported from Kiambu County are not necessarily from people living in the county, but people in other counties who originate from Kiambu County. The cases that you are seeing are not necessarily tested here in, in Kiambu. Some of the figures in Kiambu were tested in, Ruiru, uh, in, in Nairobi or in Mombasa or in Arupe or in other places because in that form you fill in your county of origin. So if you are in Mombasa and you are tested and you come from Kiambu, it's counted as a Kiambu case. The number of COVID-19 infections in the country rises to 23,202 cases after 605 more people tested positive for the virus in the last 24 hours. Nairobi, 373. Kiambu, 35. Migori, 25. Busia, 20. Narok, 20. Kajiado, 16. Laikipia 16, Nakuru 15, Kakamega 12, Wasingishu 11, Machakos 10, Mombasa 9, Samburu 8, Turkana 7, Muranga 5, Kericho 5, Taita Taveta 3, Nyeri, Makweni, Kisumu, Kilifwi, Elgeo, Marakwet, 2 each, Siaya, Meru, Kitui, Isielo, and Bungoma, 1 each. 587 people have recovered after receiving treatment from various hospitals across the country as six more people succumbed to the virus. For TV47, I'm Zainab Mohammed.